I think everybody loves me who's nice to me. <laughs> oh, look at that. Happy Valentine's Day. I wanted to make a special foodie beauty video for the day. And thankfully, so many of you have posted amazing cards on Twitter. I've had a hard time picking just a couple of these to show, but this was one of my favorite ones. A Valentine's treasure chest. Roses are red. Violets make me itch. How much your salary usually, bitch? <laughs> Sounds like Stella wrote that one for Kite Bella. Oh, I'm so sorry, Chantel. Oh, cry me a river. Uh, Mo Translates says, Chantel trying to convince Stella she is a changed woman, so he would go back to her and spend Valentine's Day with her is pathetic. Character change and working on your faith don't require announcements on the internet. People will be able to tell if it was genuine. Someone pointed out that this will be their first Valentine's Day together in person, as last year, Foodie Beauty was doing a visa run in Canada, and Salah was there, and they don't celebrate Valentine's as Muslims. So, we'll have to see what happens this year, although this time last Last year was apparently when the infamous Red Room picture was leaked, which I will show at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> <laughs> Michael B. Petty had to point out this about Foodie Beauty. I can't stop looking at the plaque around her two front teeth. Miriam Chantel Foodie Beauty needs a deep cleaning ASAP. I agree. She's definitely going to be losing more teeth if she doesn't clean up her act. Mary Ham is gone only. God can judge me. Also, Mary Ham one month ago. I don't believe in God right now. I don't believe in anything anymore. Yeah, she is pretty hypocritical, isn't it? It takes one fight with Salah and she doesn't believe in God anymore. That's how religious she is. Um, okay, Miss Robinson tweeted about her ghost story, which sounded like completely made up BS, if you ask me. But <laughs> regardless of it being made up or not, Piggy thinks that it has more to do perhaps with her diabetes. And yeah, I definitely think that could be it. Uh, Foodie Beauty is definitely continuing to spiral about the Mr. Snowflake documentary coming up. And we love to see her losing it. So keep on raging, Foodie Beauty. By the way, I love this art right here. Um... Okay, so this is from a little while ago. I think it was from last week. Perhaps Foodie Beauty had asked her Beezers what kind of, you know, content they wanted in her future videos. Basically, the consensus was this. I miss your real talk and live streams. You used to share your real feelings. You are a free spirit. You were doing whatever you wanted in Canada. I missed that you were showing your real self and your personality. They missed the Canadian bees. Um, um, they understand that she wants to be private about things, but that those are basically the things that drew them into wanting to watch her. And um, what does Chantel do with all of these comments? Nothing. Nothing at all. No likes, no replies. She approves them for the algorithm, but you can tell that she's not happy about them. She's just content with accepting them because it's the nicest ass pat she's going to get. So stay mad, Chantel. Stay mad. Uh, Meeps posted that someone had posted this very long list under Mr. Snowflake's a foodie beauty series teaser and it is a very long list of things that she's done so i know my video was not complete um i will continue to put out more information as i go but wow this person's list is amazing you're gonna just have to probably pause to read all of this because if i try to pause and read it all to you guys you'll be here an hour um, but it's up to you if you want to do that. And, um, I will just read a couple of the things that I'm seeing here that are really interesting. So yeah, she did file for bankruptcy twice. She hasn't been great about filing her income tax. Um, she definitely thinks she doesn't have to pay taxes last year because she's delusional and thinks that because she's been in Kuwait a good portion of the time that somehow it no longer makes her a Canadian citizen who has to pay taxes. She's insane. Um, so that's going to be really fun to see when that all kind of implodes on her. Uh, let's see here. Oh, she did make up a story once about going through a drive through seeing a homeless person um, that needed food and deciding to drive back around and give them some food. And then she later admitted in a video that when she told the story about this happening, that it was fake, that she completely lied about it and she felt really bad about it. So it took her years to come clean about a video that 
was just basically for clickbait um and just made up stories which a lot of her stories are half truths or lies it's not really shocking but that was one i had forgotten about because that one was from definitely five or six years ago um she delayed seeing her grandmother who was dying to instead partakes in drugs and the company of a degenerate so true she cheated on both james and bb yes she did and um Technically, if you want to get real technical about it, I would say there were even periods with the other one um, that she was not, you know, she was dipping her toes in other men's ponds, you know, supposedly, whether she was paying for them or not. She had said, you know, I'd hired this person and that person to try to make him jealous when I'm referring to him, you know, who I'm talking about, Um, her ex or her wannabe ex, the guy she wishes was her ex that isn't really her ex, but anyway, um, (laughs) <laughs> yeah so we get all of that uh basically if I touch on some of the things in here um that are just really sad she basically did the Cuba rage which we're all very familiar with it was incredible to say the least and if you haven't seen that um let me know if you want me to do some highlights on it all right so here's a really funny picture of foodie beauty in beavis and butthead's car i love that (laughs) i wonder what the episode would be about if this was a series what do you guys think so this person tweeted you can't find chantelle's channel anymore when you search foodie beauty it does actually take a while you see so many reaction channels at the top and then it's just hard because now it says everyday miriam so it's really confusing the algorithm um foodie beauty has honestly lost her mind and changing her name was a really big mistake uh for the algorithm and for the future of her channel but it has been noticeable that she has been buying likes comments and subscribers for a long time and in particular recently some indian food in bangkok mukbang someone got this screenshot showing uh just how many people liked the video versus the views and just you tell me in 16 minutes is it possible to get that many authentic likes and then not have nearly as many views now i understand youtube makes a person watch a video for a certain amount of time that they won't tell the public to count as a view so that would be one explanation as to why a view would be less but it doesn't make sense why the likes would happen that fast and i don't even think beyonce gets likes that fast well maybe beyonce so foodie beauty stay mad um let's educate the ignorant not even going to touch on that one her trying to be political she doesn't have the brains for politics so she should just shut her mouth about it um it's funny when you want to go look at her analytics on social blade because if you type in foodie beauty it now takes you to a completely different channel and you have to look up your everyday miriam in order to find her on social blade and here's the proof it's in the pudding plus 800 subscribers today on tuesday girl that's really pathetic Another big change you're going to see here is if you look at that Friday, how many um, videos she privated, look how much money she potentially lost. Uh, According to the analytics here, anywhere between 1.7K and 27K. Now, Social Blade does not do a great job monetarily, but regardless, and that's a big stretch of like what it could be, but you're telling me that you potentially are losing up to $27,000 a year because you don't want your old content up anymore. And the content that she privated wasn't even that bad compared to the stuff she has like deleted, deleted that reaction channels have, you know? So it's just really wild to me. Um, I don't know what her plan is for when she goes broke, because again, unless Sala's family is paying his way into Canada, I can't see any other way she's getting money unless she's on a feeder site or back on OF. So I don't know. What do you guys think down below? How is she going to survive? Happy Valentine's Day, Chantel. I'm sure Sala will be somewhere in a red room barking like a dog. (laughs) 